various performance you know improvement technique which is very frequently used so let's just start from the first inside the loop you don't have to write the select query right so most of you have written this particular things important remember this right because when you write the select query inside a loop what will happen that every time it's going to communicate with the database and the network is going to be consumed right so that network connection the application server has to establish the connection with the database layer and when the application server has to establish the connection with the database layer it has to you know take some time right when it has to take some time every time when you are putting the loop right on the select query every time for establishing the network connection right or initializing the transaction initializing the select query it's going to take the time so right inside the loop you don't have to write the select query okay in select query the sequence of the field should be same as it is there in the database right so when you are writing select field one field two field three from some particular table so you know when you write the field one field two field three this field one field two field three should be in the same sequence as it is there in the database table so what i'm telling that suppose if you observe the mara table right so it will be having the matner first this will be the matner first and then you might be having the mtart and matkl you know and uh, then other fields. so let's suppose in mara table the first field is matner and then mtart and matkl so when you write the select query you are supposed to write like this you know select select Martner, MTART, and then MATKL. See, so in the same sequence. If we're going to now, you tell me whether this is this is right or wrong. First, I'm writing MATKL. Just assume that your sequence is in this Martner, MTART, and MATKL, right? And you are writing the query like this: select MATKL, and then you are writing Martner from Mara. Is it correct? Just write here in the chat box, yes or no. Yeah, this is not correct, right? This is not correct because the sequence is this Matner, MTAT, and MATKL. So suppose if you want to fetch MATKL, Matner only. So first you write the Matner and then you write the MATKL. So for the database, it will be easy to manipulate and access the table, you know, if it will be in the same sequence. So it will improve the performance so though it's a you know very uh, a small point but important point right <clears throat> another you must have to limit the selected records right so how to limit the selected records so when you are going to use the selector query you have to make sure that you are not going to get all the records from the database that means you must have to put select some fields from some table into some internal table right you don't have to write simply this right you have to write select some fields from some table into some internal table up to 10 rows 20 rows up to 100 rows or up to 1000 rows right if you don't have the where condition if you have the where condition go and write the where condition and in the where condition write the maximum wear condition means as max as possible as max as possible so if you write the maximum field over there in the you know if you are going to give the maximum filter criteria your resultant your the output records in the internal table is going to be less and that is good actually okay so in wear condition you have to apply the multiple you know multiple filter criteria okay multiple filter criteria if i'm going to give that's good right so if you have the chance to give the maximum filter criteria don't avoid give there itself so you get the most relevant and filtered data 
use up to n rows right use up to n rows or you know that packet size right we have a concept of packet size so that packet size also you can use in order to limit the suppose you, you don't have any way to limit the record you want to get all the data from the database table into your internal table right and you know that internal table cannot hold the data more than 1.5 gb right so and also some uh, more than uh, some 2 lakh records or something like i don't remember exact figure but uh, some like more than 1 lakh let's suppose if it is not going to store in one go right then what you will do first you will have to get something like 50000 then another 50000 then another 50000 so this concept is known as the packet size so you can go and explore in the uh, google okay on the internet or maybe i will prepare one video on this i don't have this in my course or in my youtube video anywhere i need to create a video on this so packet size very important and very frequently actually this packet size used very frequently whenever you have to get a uh, uh, lot many data from a, a database table right and you want to get in chunk right 50000 first again 50000 again 50000 again 50000 so we use in select and end select actually this packet size so i'll prepare one you know it will take some 15 to 20 minutes and i will i will give you over there meanwhile you can just go and search on the google and try to understand about this packet size through some blog or sap technical or check on the sap yard or sap code something like that so packet size is also one technique right here don't use select a star right don't use select a star why to use select a star right on mara currently we are having around 356 fields right so if you are going to use select a star from mara what will happen right what will happen it will unnecessary data collection we never use the 356 fields from the mara right hardly 10 fields maximum right so generally five six seven eight or up to ten fields so the average mostly sometimes three or four fields is sufficient right so whatever fields you require fetch only those fields right so this is the fourth point very important point fifth point in where condition try to use those fields which is indexed right that means if you use the primary key or use the field on which you have created the secondary index right so go to the ac11 and display the table and click on the index head and check on whatever fields the secondary index has been created so if you're going to use the primary key in where condition nothing can be better than this right but if you don't have the option like your business requirement is something like that you have to do the filter based upon the none primary key then just check out which none primary key has been indexed whether that is making sense for you or not you know so if uh, that is there in the secondary index use that one that combination you know in order to improve the performance or if it is required to create if you are going to uh, have the select quite uh, selection on a particular table many times in your program right you are going to create a project you are going to uh, launch a project and in that project suppose you are going to you know use the select query on a table let's suppose on mara table okay on none primary key okay there are some none primary key in the mara table let's suppose m tart and m a t k l right so suppose m tart and m a t k l you have to put the where condition you go and check in the index whether on m tart and m a t k l second index has been created or not if it if it is already created that's fine you don't have to do anything but if it is not created see how many times that select query has been used in your project overall project in your package you you can understand right by going to the technical design or with uh, or by discussing with your team member or 
uh, with your team lead who is having the better visibility on this right he will guide you whether you are supposed to create if it is going to use so much so much so much many select query based upon the where condition on mtat and matkl on which already secondary index have not been created then you can create one secondary index never ever you know simply create the second index creating secondary index on a table frequently is not suggested i'm getting some ping over here one question is that can we create secondary index in hana db yes of course you can create but not recommended sap is not appreciating this approach because if some table is there in the column store format right already that is indexed every column in the hana table is indexed right so that's why it is not appreciated it is not you know uh, it is not recommended recommended strongly however you can use if it is very much required right you can see the performance by putting the timer and you can check like whether it's going to improve the performance or not however there generally it is not required non hana db oracle cybs db2 db6 informix mas these are the very popular non hana db don't use inner join for more than two tables in non hana db right don't use the aggregate function mean max average sum count right because these are on the non hana db right this database consists of the row storage format right and you know that row storage format is not made for aggregation right however column storage is fully made for aggregation so this concept if you want to understand this i have discussed in my abap on hana course in very much detail there you can go and learn it will be there on youtube also okay this particular video related with first two or three video in that i have discussed you can go and check okay here for all entries more than two tables right you must have to means it is very much uh, recommended actually strongly recommended that if you have to put the select query on more than two tables right use the for all entries and that's why for all entries so popular because this hana database came uh around 2011 right somewhere around that and after that right it got more popularity after 2015 so up to 2015 or even now also this for all entries right uh, fast data access and all there it plays a very a vital role very important role so you can never ignore this for all entries in in hana database scenario as well okay so here what we understood in non hana db don't use inner join for more than two tables don't use the aggregate function right it's a performance killer means it will kill your performance you know it will hamper your performance very badly this mean max average sum count okay so but if it is your columnar database like hana database you know so column storage is made for aggregation right column storage is synonym for aggregation you can tell like this column storage is synonym for aggregation because if something is stored in the columnar way right it's very easy to add them in a column in one go that's the concept behind the column storage and there are so many you know concept is hidden behind the column storage right go through that video you will be able to understand in more detail now here mean max average sum count right the hana db is used for mean max average sum count because these are the uh, aggregate function and hana db has been made for the aggregate function here fda for all entries right we just discussed this fast data access so this settings has to be done by the basis people right loop inside loop you have to avoid this and use parallel cursor right loop inside loop you have to avoid this and use parallel cursor we have seen how to use the parallel cursor we'll see in the next slides how to use this parallel cursor use the secondary index wherever it requires 
okay in case of large amount of data use binary search for read statement right so whenever you have the large amount of data and you are using the what uh, a standard table a standard internal table then you have to use the use the binary search for read statement okay so for suppose uh, if you have the standard internal table but if you have the sorted internal table so in case of sorted internal table what you have automatically the binary search will be applied you don't have to write the binary search addition in case of sorted internal table okay don't use sort inside the loop don't use sort inside the loop so when we use the sort inside the loop then what will happen that every time system has to perform the sort right every time system has to perform the sort and what will happen sort is very performance you know uh, embarrassing it's uh, the sort takes so much time to uh, sort, sort takes so much time to you know uh, uh, like in order to do the sorting the sort statement so that's why we are and because you are using in a loop it will take a lot of time so remember this sort we are not supposed to use this uh, this will badly affect your performance very very bad performance wise very very bad performance wise very very bad performance wise okay now you can use loop at group by instead of conventional control back so now in the current you know that we are having the uh, this loop at control by right uh, loop at group by this particular this particular this particular loop at group by okay you can use loop at group by so under the new syntax series of uh, uh, youtube video there you can go and understand in very detail right loop at group by very performance effective loop at group by instead of control break right very very powerful new syntax loop at group by 